hello everyone so welcome back first of all please like a video subscribe our channel and share as much as you can guys okay so now comes to the topic so now the topic is locators locators I am going to divide selenium locators in a two part part one and part two let me write it selenium locators okay so in part one I am going to cover about four type of locators that is ID locator name locator link text locator and class locator and in the second part I am going to tell you about XPath and CSS so first of all guys what is locators so basically locator is a command that tells selenium web driver with GUI element so GUI element uh, is what is GUI element first of all need to operate okay so I am going to take an example of Salesforce and Rediff. Okay, these two sites. So you can take anything you want to take for the practice purposes. Okay, so first first of all, what is GUI elements? You have, I have written it here. GUI elements. So what is GUI elements? So all these uh, this is a textbook uh, textbox. This is a GUI element this label is a GUI element this button is a GUI element so what is basically locator locator is a command that tells Selenium web driver which GUI element and uh, is located where and on which we have to perform operations like suppose if I am going to automate a site of Salesforce I have to write some email here and a password here corresponding to that email and after that I have to click on this button how the selenium will going to know about this is through a locators so there are six type of locators here with the help of which we can identify these GUI elements okay after that identification of correctly if identify GUI element it we can create automatic scripts in any framework and any language as mentioned earlier in different uh, videos as well that we can write it in any language but the purpose the thing with the help of which we can verify locator remains the same each and every time the process remains the same which is a important thing and we need to follow the process so the process says that we can we can find an elements locator with six different types through its id unique id unique name link text class xpath or css so these are six types with the help of which again we can find gui elements we can locate that elements okay so just stay tuned will let you know first of all again guys please like the video subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and share as much as you can we need your support thank you so much okay so guys here it is a site I want to enter something in this text box okay so first of all you know the basic steps create a class guys I hope you have already practiced practiced all the things I have mentioned in my earlier videos if you are facing any problem over there just let me know I will help you with that so I'm going to copy this system to set properties and this again instead of writing that again and again okay 
so you don't need to copy until or unless you have learned it okay first of all try to learn this because if because that will going to be helpful for you going further okay now what i want to first of all get this after that i want to enter something in this text box so first of all i want to check what locator or which locator i can use here just right click inspect elements okay so by default guys you will see that your inspect element will uh, window come here okay like something like this like this okay so just click here this okay now select an element inspect element this one okay here it is we can use name here id or we can use class no we can't use class so i will let you know i will let you know that why we can't use a class so first of all i want to teach you id okay id so id locator is what this is a most common way sorry uh, this is a most common way of locating element since IDs are supposed to be the unique element for each element okay so here it is just a simple thing ID is equal to ID name I will let you know what is the syntax driver dot find element so we are just saying that find a new element in a selenium it is very easy to find any method you just have to say what you want to do there you want to find an element so the find element method is there another thing is by by which thing id okay and the id is username we want to send key there so send key is a basically method guys which we are going to use to send some information like I wanna say enter a name as Arun Kapoor that's it save right click run as okay guys Arun Kapoor perfect it identified that text box with that ID and we are writing it here Arun Kapoor you can write anything else like test ID locator right click again the same steps It is quite easy guys to find an ID and 99.99% the ID is going to be unique okay this is what we wanna enter so this is a basically syntax driver the driver is from here the variable of web driver okay dot find element is a method by dot id id is another method we are using by for that which id we are giving that id name the id name again we found an id name from after inspect element 
inspect element okay here it is okay id is equal to username it mentioned here dot send keys we are using send keys again a method we are using to send some input from our side now i want to enter a password as well right click again inspect so in password we have id we have name as well okay let's try it with the name now same thing we want to follow here as well dot find element now by dot name and the password i want to enter like test password the remaining process will going to be the same test password three now it need to enter password through name locator and username through id locator okay it failed here okay, it is saying no such element unable to locate yes so guys it is no test password it is pw so that was typing mistake pw that is why okay so that is another thing it will going to show an error i will let you know about the error in further videos i will provide you that how to debug the errors if you are facing okay it failed here so why it failed here it is saying that exception in a thread what exception it is unable to locate element okay so what element it is going to look after test password but here the element is pw now just copy it and paste it here and we are going to try it again It is taking a time loading okay here it is so it entered a username here that I've mentioned here using an ID locator and entered a name uh, entered a password using a name locator here successfully and it will check the logs it's perfectly fine no error so this is the way we are going to use locators to identify different GUI elements okay moving further so there are some other locators that I have mentioned here okay so 
the definition is saying that name locator is locating elements by name and it, it is pretty much similar to id locators as i have already checked in we have already checked it here okay practically so there are some other locators as well like link text and class locators so moving to another one the third one the link text so this type of locator apply on hyperlinks only so guys hyperlinks are those links starting with a tag a okay so these kind of locators will going to apply on those only those hyperlinks so we'll see an example of that as well let me just close the other windows first okay now i want to click on this link that forget your password so if i will click on here it will move on next page so this is a hyperlink inspect okay so this is a hyperlink and it is with a tag name okay as i have mentioned so we are going to use a link text here so link text is this forget your password i've just copied that driver dot find element now by dot again link text now link text is forget your password okay that text mentioned here after the completion of link forget your password dot i want to click on here okay now i don't want to write something here because that doesn't going to make any sense okay guys so i want to click on here again so we have a click method for that in selenium right click run as so now the click method will going to click on that link let's just check okay it clicked on that link so after a click we can print so just to make sure the above step processed correctly successfully clicked Here it is successfully clicked. Okay, now let's move to words fourth locator that is class locator. So this type of locator is used to identify element using unique class name. So let's see some example in Rediv.com. We have a element web element where we can enter something for search search window we can say that okay if you will check here we have a class here so we can use that to locate this element let me show you how we can use this one again same driver dot get now again we have to load new page okay. 
right dot find element by class and the class name is Home search box. Put it here. Dot send keys. Test class. Kid. That's it, guys. Just run this one again. Now it will first load. The Salesforce as per our code, and after that, it moved toward Reddit.com and search here. Here it is test class name locator. Okay, so we have covered four type of locators here. by id by name by link text and by class along with all the examples guys practice this as much as you can and don't forget about like the video subscribe the channel and share as much as you can thank you so much everyone